Tonight we're calling Arizona Scorpion Alley, and right now our crew is centered in one of the most infested areas. Let's bring in the map again. ABC 15's Joe Bartels in Tempe, zip code 85283, doing a scorpion sweep for the creepy crawlers. And Joe, scorpions, it, they're really active this time of year. They really are, Steve and Katie. We are at the height of mating season soon. There will be moms with their babies creeping around the valley. In fact, we have Ben Holland from Scorpion Sweepers here. He's got his UV light showing us one of the scorpions he's found. Tonight, we show you where they like to hide and just how hard it is to get rid of a scorpion infestation. Under the cover of darkness, here's one. It doesn't take long for this hunter to find the hunted. We just found an Arizona bark scorpion here. Marketing professional by day, scorpion extractor by night, Ben Holland, founder of Scorpion Sweepers, invited us along for a scorpion hunt in one of the valley's hot zones. It's mating season, so they're looking around for mates. They're really active. They're gonna get into places they aren't normally just because they're looking for mates. Arizona bark scorpions, the most common type found on this hunt, are the most venomous in the U.S. Ben is finding them around this Scottsdale home in McCormick Ranch. Yeah, there's one back here. Homeowners reported an apparent infestation. His ultraviolet light brings the predators out of hiding. Is him trying to sting me? Ben snatches a large adult with forceps. Gotcha. See it stinging? It's trying to sting the, the forceps. Ben says this hunt is successful. A previous visit at this house nabbed 26 scorpions. This hunt, just four live ones. But scorpion activity is about to really ramp up. Late May, early June, you'll start seeing the moms with the babies. Then monsoon season comes, you know, about mid-July. So there's a lot of activity in the desert. There's a lot more prey. Um, coming out to get the water that's there. So scorpions are really active. Ben says valley hotspots include North Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, Gilbert, and parts of Mesa and Tempe. Ben says here's what you should do to get ahead of the scorpion influx. Clear leaves and debris from your yard. They love to hide and try and seal cracks in walls and foundations. They can really squeeze into tiny spaces. And the best advice, have someone like Ben Holland with Scorpion Sweepers visit your home to assess your vulnerabilities. Back out here live, one thing that we learned during our Facebook Lives with Ben, they love dead leaves and they also love bark. So if you have a tree, maybe not a citrus tree, but ones that have the bark on them, say a palm tree, for example, scorpions love to hide out there. But right now, guys, I'm getting out of Scorpion Alley. Back to you. <laughs> yeah, no you. kidding. Creeps me out. I feel like phantom feelings <laughs> to sit here in the newsroom. Yeah, every time you see it, yeah. Oh, all right. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Hopefully you've heard, not experienced, a scorpion sting is painful. Yeah, but the anti-venom can also sting your wallet. Anti-venom supplies can run as much as $30,000 a vial. That's because so little venom can be gathered from each individual scorpion. Yeah, one vial is something like three grams of venom, and experts say if you could extract that much in a day, you'd have to find at least a quarter of a million scorpions. So a gallon of the stuff, that would cost a staggering $39 million. But the stuff works. It saves lives and it counteracts effects and symptoms of painful stings like numbness, tingling, trouble focusing your eyes, trouble swallowing, and muscle twitching. And most stings are not lethal but can be treated with a simple first aid. But if you notice symptoms escalating, especially with young kids, you've got to get to a doctor right away. And